right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Spanish town, Jamaica, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nimagomedov! All right, go through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, elbow from the clinch, man. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Great punch.
Back to the jab now, no good. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take down lane. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this time. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Leg Both kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. It's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing a skill every single day. Connects with a right. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nurmago Meta. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Single collar tie now. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's gotta not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. That was good. Nice strike. He's able to slip the left there. It's the elbow there. Nice body shot. Keep your hands up. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. Big punch to the body. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nurmago Medov's shot is blocked. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Just missed with the left there. Big call from punch land. Now we get back to range. Fantastic timing. Situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Fifteen seconds. Misses with the left hook. Nice punch there by Nurmago Medov. And he lands the knee to the body now. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he put on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Sneaky head kick. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Nermago Meta. Not there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice straight punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullets. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses. How, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. That's a big strike right there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He blocks the punch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Punches block. Misses with that big right hand. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. Even in the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head at a moment's note. Collar tie. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Wow. Actually got the take now. 90 seconds now to go in this one. All right, side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hook to the head block. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right punches there. That's a pretty good right hand there by the teammate of Ibrahim Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punches the clinch. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, that's the end of round number two.
Mm. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, right, you are known for having one ready? of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not in hunt, going to fight, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice strike. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Whips on the straight right hand. Oh man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful pace. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice slip and then power for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. Good punch land. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Oh, collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Throws the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, single collar tie here. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, beautiful leading the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, you don't want to say Habib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Superman punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Numago Meta. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. He's very tricky when he throws that body. 
All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? He said both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Oh, huge block! Big kick land. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch by Nurmagomedov. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, he got that boat of the target very quickly. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strike. Man up, gets the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Pretty good right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Shot to the body here, blocked by Nurmago Meadow. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice loop and punch. Able to thwart the single leg. Nice kick. Nice kick. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under two minutes to go. Big power shot there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Punch over the top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Under a minute to go. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And there comes the separation now. Oh, man, 
this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last week. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so another round is now underway. Let's Pretty run, good run, action run. over the previous run. 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what you might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home. As we approach the end of the fight, it was still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Yep, right hand over the top. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. What a body kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he has landed that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Got clipped with the right hand. Nermago Medov strike attempt there is blocked. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Ooh, blocks the shot. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got a... Good. All 
right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. One minute to go in the fight. Remain in the round. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! 30 seconds to go. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the fight. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the roof this, Jim. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Going the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Fernando Meta. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.